The Chinese New Year is the biggest holiday in China. Families across the country are set to get together, exchange gifts, and of course, eat. The most important meal happens on New Year's Eve, and this year I'm dining with Chinese actress Li Bingbing. She starred in a number of local and Hollywood blockbusters, but tonight she's going to show me a few New Year traditions. Hello, it is a pleasure to meet you, Bingbing. Happy Chinese New Year. Hi, Elvis. Happy Chinese New Year. And look at you—you you look sensational in your red sweater. Thank you. You know, red in China is a symbol of luck. For Chinese people, we love to wear red color to celebrate our Chinese New Year. Very Come on. Good. So, do you know what is this? I can see there's some dumplings at the back. Are we going to be making dumplings together? I'll show you how to make dumplings. Sounds good. This is flour, and this is warm water. We put the water into the flour. We keep kneading them until it become smooth and stretchy. Stretchy is important. The traditional way, we just roll it, keep it like a long line dough. You just rip it out. Rip it off. We have to use the very important tool to roll it. It become a very thin wrapper. We can put some filling inside, and you fold the wrapper over. Sure. And pinch, pinch it in the edges. Okay. Should I give it a try? All oh, right, we're gonna give it a go. Now I saw you move in all kinds of direction. Can we still use it? Hmm. You can use it. Right, Make I'll your it. style dumpling. Not so, much more. Not much more. Okay, very good. So now it's time to pinch the dumpling. Here we go. Pinch the top, and then pinch the edges here. You are so talented. Oh gosh. It's very good. You did a very good job. This one we can make a goldfish. Goldfish. Yes. Too much. Too much I'm filling. And sometimes we put a coin inside the dumpling. Uh -huh. If someone who really got the dumpling, that means he's gonna be the luckiest one oh, wow. in the year. This is the fish. These are our fish. So right now, I'm going to give it to our chef. Very good. And then we can go have our feast. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's, do let's it. go. Wow, Bing Bing, look at all this food. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Chinese New Year's dinner is very important for Chinese people, you know? It's just like, I think, the Christmas dinner as your country. So everyone will come home just for the dinner. So shall we take a look at some of these dishes? We have a piece of fish in front of us. Fish is yu, mm -hmm. so it sounds like leftovers. Leftovers. That means you have more than what you need. Ah, okay, so that's a good sign to have fish. Moving on now, I see that we have, am I right here to say Peking duck? This Peking duck, the way they made it is very different. They steam inside and they smoke on the outside. Okay. It tastes smooth on the inside and it's very, very crispy on the outside. All right, so let's try some of this crispy skin. Mm, it's succulent. Absolutely delicious. Mm. No idea, what is that? It's might call fried rice cake. Okay. Chinese name is Nian Gao. Nian Gao. Which means Nian Nian Gao Sheng. Which means you have better year than the last. A better year. Each year better than the last. Each year better than the last. So there's a lot of symbolism, a lot of meaning with the food. All right, moving on to our next dish. Now, I haven't seen something like this before. It looks rather interesting. What do we have here, Bing Bing? This is a seafood platter. Uh -huh. And uh, our call this one is a luck of the whole family. Oh, luck for the whole family. Got yeah, it. in Chinese yeah. called Quan Jia Fu. Quan Jia Fu. Yeah, so in this dishes, we put uh, some kinds of uh, seafood inside, uh -huh. and we have some vegetables inside. That means it's, it symbolizes, you know, abundance in the coming new year. Do you want to know what is this one? Gosh, I, I don't know, is it? We call this bird nest. Mm. So we hope our country become more prosperous. That's this 
dishes here meaning. So, you know, there's so much food here. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to prepare it all? At least two or three days. Two or three days. Well, some family, I think they need one week in advance. One week to prepare. Yeah. It looks like the dumplings that we prepared really? earlier are ready. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Wow. wow. You can taste it. Mm-hmm. You did a good job. Really? It's great. Yes, I love it. Oh my god, boy, I just bit into something. Hang on here. Mm. <laughs> Looks like I've got the coin. Look at that. So I'm gonna be very lucky this upcoming year. You are so lucky already. Fantastic. Abundance, prosperity, and luck. I love it. You got That's everything me. already. That's what the Chinese New Year is all about. Cheers. Cheers. And I just want to thank you very much for this wonderful feast that you have prepared. It was fantastic. So I have a gift for you. Oh, really? Here you go. I hope you like it. Wow. <laughs> so you have an upcoming film, The Meg, about a sh shark. So here is a picture of you holding a shark. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. I also have a gift for you too. Oh. Here is a colorful picture book. Oh, wow. And you can learn all of the Chinese tradition. Fantastic. Yes. All in this book. Now, I just came across something here. It's like a red envelope. <laughs> yes. So see this? It's very tradition for Chinese people. I gave you a Chinese red packet. Fantastic. Yes. Wow. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. And thank you for all of this, and happy Chinese New Year. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Chinese New Year. Just like Christmas, the essence of the Chinese New Year is being with your family, and there's no better place to hang out than at the dining table. Happy Chinese New Year. See you next time.